Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're checking out a new game. Uh, I've not played this before, I don't know very much about it except that it's supposed to be some sort of roguelike deck builder. So uh, obviously don't expect me to know exactly what I'm doing, but uh, sit back, relax, and hopefully we can enjoy uh, this new experience together. So uh, here we go, yeah, I'm going in totally blind. Let's begin our quest with Krumit's Tale. Alright, get to learn about the basics. <laughs> clear the dungeon. The dungeon is clear when no enemies remain on the board or in the dungeon deck. Okay. The dungeon is created by shuffling together your items and abilities with vagabonds and monsters and then dealing them out into a grid. Okay. Tap a foe to initiate combat if you dare. Uh... Two so arms. Our remaining health, and that of your opponent, is indicated by hearts. Okay, pretty obvious. Attack is indicated by that, and you can see what the enemy intends to do based on the bubble above their head. Okay, so we have some enemy intents, sort of Slade the Spire style here. Uh, all right. In case the enemy is a simple attack, others might also block and put poison or glare at you. Got it. Uh, to have the green button to teach them a lesson. Alright, let's give them a little smack down here. Alright, we both attacked. You always attack first unless the enemy declares an ambush and uses a blitz action. I guess we'll see what that's all about a bit later. Alright, fight on it and vanquish. As soon as the runaway button of some sort, uh, it seems. For the time being, we don't have many options except keep smashing and taking damage, so there we go. Alright, well, uh, here we go, we finish off the skeletons. Defeating them gives us a gold, that's not the only way to earn our fortune, good to know. You can also earn by discarding tiles you don't need, okay. So we can sell stuff, alright, tap the sword. Discarding gives you one and restores two health. Discard the tile now, okay. So we're able to get rid of our equipment in order to regain health and make more money. Cool. Ah, sweet relief. And we can acquire a new... Wait, now that you've earned some money, you can acquire a new tile. Tiles include items and abilities. Spawn a few more tiles for you to take a look at. Okay. I'm only need to fight monsters or discard tiles to earn money. Uh, we just get some for free, excellent. Um, okay. Your attack with melee weapon has a plus three exhaust. Remove from your inventory after use, okay. All tiles will be cost. Boop with the green button to acquire the tile and add it to your inventory. Sure. That will be needed. Again for the other time. Okay, so okay, so all this stuff costs money. But the sword er I had earlier, I guess I already had, so it didn't have a cost on it. Okay, sure. I'll buy the short sword and this gives me some shield. Excellent. All right, time to fight the barbarian. Excellent news. There we go. Strategize. If your symposium will require you to use items and abilities. Okay. Tap your sword to equip it. Alright. Uh, your weapon has increased to three. You can unequip weapons by tapping them again. Okay, great. This foe is too scared to attack. There's no need to block. Interesting. Okay, so the barbarian's just blocking here. Alright, I'll go ahead and smack him. He's gonna armor up for the next turn, presumably. Using an item reduces durability, indicated by dots on the tile. Tiles are destroyed when they're out of dots. Okay, so all of our items are limited use. Interesting. If it has four block this turn, if we render my attacks useless. Okay. Alright, so let's get rid of the sword. Um, so we'll equip. I see, I see. Okay. 
So we'll equip her chain mail and then attack even though we don't do anything. Oh no! Alright, let's grab our sword again and equip with a slash for additional damage. Slash is an ability. Ability is usually modifying an attack made with a weapon or targeting enemies on the board directly. Okay. Slash increases your attack by three, but only if you have a weapon equipped. It also has the exhaust keyword, so it's destroyed after use. Okay. So really, it's not that different than the sword, and it just has one charge instead of three. All right. Well, let's smash. Take that. All right. Uh, heal and fill out the board one more time. Great. On your own now. Clear the board and make me stop worrying. Okay. That's a lot of skeletons. Holy moly. All right. Well, we don't have any money. Uh, so I guess we'll have to go and fight some skeletons to earn that. Will you triumph? Okay. Oh, I see, I see. So we're, we could one-shot it with a slash if we want. Uh, or we could choose not to do that. So at our baseline, we're hitting for two. And then we can also gain some armor if we want off the chain mail. Um, all right, well, let's just get aggressive and, and kill him, I guess. Sure. The skill. Okay, and then we have another one gold, we can buy another slash. Okay, so the thing I got rid of earlier did have a cost. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna buy this. But that means I can actually make money um, by getting rid of stuff that costs money on the board. That's very interesting. Okay, well, let's one shot another skeleton. I guess. Um, seems like a fine way to deal with things for now. Don't get cocky. Okay, now we're gonna want maybe some more equipment, so maybe I sell this chain mail. To your help. And buy ourselves a new sword. Seems fine. That will be needed. And then we'll go and fight Splat these it. guys. And um, Yeah, by using the sword we can two shot it, so that seems fine. It'll take the damage, we have a lot of health right now. I'm not worried about uh, using up the last charge of the chainmail here. The skill. Alright, and yeah, let's fight this last two one as well. Um, and we won't be able to two shot it because our sword's gonna run out of charges anyway, so I guess I may as well uh, just fight it straight on here. And yeah, sure, I'll use the chainmail here. Harry! Okay, interesting. And... Oh, interesting. By fully blocking, we dazed it or something? That's cool. Yeah. So we get a free attack there, and then we get one more uh, Just by going first. Alright, we're ready for a real dungeon, perhaps. Uh, okay, I guess I'll begin the quest again? Or is that going to take me to tutorial again? Let's find out. Okay, standard run, mutations, explore standard mode with a little extra help. Okay. Well, let's try a standard run, I guess. Choose your champion. Oh, okay. So we have our option. Bruno the Brave. Bruno, restore two health whenever you require an item from the dungeon that grants block. Interesting. Okay, so he likes getting armor. Or we can use Over the mountains and through the trees. Varfa, who I got from a uh, DLC that came with the game, so... Start with Oru. Is this the Oru? Enemies in the bottom row have plus two attack. Well, let's start with the base character Oru for a first a run. Uh, it seems like that's probably the intent, so... Let the let's see how commence. Bruno does here. Oh, goodness me. Alright. The Dusty Basement. Okay. <laughs> Start to health when you require an item that grants block. We currently have no items and no money. Alright. Oh, this just gives us two cash. Alright, well, let's definitely do that. Oh, yes. Oh, interesting. New stuff falls in when you... F 
get rid of something. So when does the dungeon end, I wonder? What is this? It just restores health. Okay, don't care about that too much. Let's buy this sword for now. Um, that'll help us defeat these guys. Um, score. Oh, is this some, what's coming up, maybe? Yeah, I'm curious how I actually finish this real dungeon, but, um, I don't know, let's start working through this row of enemies here. Splatted. And, again, we'll go for the strategy where we try and two-shot them with the basic sword, that seems fine. Boom. Take that. Gives us a coin. Okay, and that does drop. Okay, and there's four more cards in the deck, or maybe four items, one enemy, something like that. And we need to try to grab them all. Okay. Um, I'll grab a sword or a, a slash. What luck! And then that should let us one shot the next enemy. There's another enemy, that's fine. We're at 8 health and have 1 gold. Um, I think we can probably fight one of them with no equipment here. Maybe we'll buy the chainmail after that and restore some health. Nice. Oh, the bucket here. Bucket helm, no additional effects. Basic item. Okay, just grants you one armor. Okay, well, for now, by the chainmail, uh, that'll what heal us a bit. And then we can go ahead and fight these guys as well. Um, okay, and this is the thing we saw earlier in the tutorial, where our full block will uh, parry the enemy. So they'll be stunned for the next attack. That's really great. So, um, that sounds good. We'll go ahead and take our swing, carry them back. And now we don't need to actually use our chain mail, we can just uh, hit them over the next two turns without them hitting us. That's really great. Nearly a small fry. And then of course we can do the same thing for this next one. Or we equip the chain mail for the first attack. Well parried. And presumably we'll start fighting some more interesting enemies in these very basic skeletons sometime soon. But uh, got got their number, I think. Uh, let's see. So I don't know if I carry any of these items over for the next level or my health or anything like that. Uh, let's buy this next chain mail as well and fight this guy. Chainmail here, do our parry combo. Well Smack him a few times, alright. Looks like we... Quest continues. Okay, so it looks like the uh, items that were left on the board we got some sort of uh, reward for, so maybe this is some sort of meta currency that will let us buy uh, upgrades between runs, and then our deck size increases, which... I don't know how that helps at the moment, because it seems like it'll just make the dungeons longer, but okay, great. Alright, coming up next is the Slithering Swamp. Uh, it doesn't look like I can hover over things here to tell me exactly... Oh, no I can. Seems like I can right-click the... Okay, so... So then I'm immune to weapons. A six health, okay, and then this guy... Starts with stealth, preventing you from targeting until you attack in battle. Well, that doesn't seem too relevant, since we're mostly doing attacks. Choose a tile. Okay, I wonder... Mm, treasure. Plate Helm. When you equip this, unequip any equipped melee weapons. Interesting. They give six armor. That's quite a lot. Plate Armor. Cost increased by one for each other item in your inventory. Oh, I don't like that very much. Intimidate. Increase your attack by two. Only usable when you have more health than your opponent. And it looks like this one doesn't um, doesn't have exhaust, which is really nice. 
So I don't think I like the plate armor. Uh, I'd rather be able to have a larger inventory, I'm guessing. Um, these are both quite expensive. Intimidate's definitely powerful, uh, as is the plate helm. I think uh, my, my sort of gamer sense is here telling me to go for the thing that has unlimited charges, um, but I don't know how relevant that actually is, but let's give it a shot. We'll take the Intimidate. And we have to choose a perk. Choose okay. wisely. Cautious. You can no longer parry, but each equipped weapon adds to block. I don't know. The parrying seems pretty useful. At the start of the dungeon, shuffle three random potions in the deck. Okay, I assume that's helpful. The potion last time gave us two health and was didn't cost anything, so that's great. I mean, defeat an enemy, add a copy of Frenzy to your inventory if you have room. It's Frenzy. Deal two damage to yourself and raise your attack by two for the remainder of the battle. Exhaust. Well, that doesn't combo very well with our ability. That wants us to be at high health, so probably not that one. Or poison every enemy as they spawn before attacking. Take damage equal to the poison value, then reduce by one, restoring health from poison. So presumably just poisons them for one, so effectively reducing their health by one. That seems okay. Let's try the alchemist. Uh, we get to see some more of these potions, see how good that is. Is my shop and spend gems you earn after each dungeon add a new tiles to your deck. Okay, so that's what the currency was for. Choose carefully. And we have 40. We can pay for a reroll as well. Looks like. Uh certain what deck a right collection. now. Oh, I see, but we're um we're limited by the size of the deck here. Wonder if I'm able to remove cards? Okay, I am, but it costs. Okay, okay. Um, I have 40. What is this crazy helm? When you block with this item, restore health equal to your base attack. Wow. Only has two charges, though. Interesting. Uh, the plate helm that we skipped out on, a spear. Piercing attacks ignore armor as four attack. Okay, what are these things? Deal base... Deal your base damage to target enemy in bottom row and gain one... Gold? Is that gold? I mean, it's pretty cool. Doesn't cost anything either. Gain one when you acquire this. You, your attack with melee weapons is piercing and has plus two. Huh. I mean, this seems excellent. It just gives you free money while also making your weapon piercing and stronger. Seems like a good pickup. Um, maybe I'll grab that. Sure. Well bought. Uh, unfortunately, you, we can afford one more thing. Like I would like the plate helmet, maybe, but we can't um, fit Gizmos it. Gizmos and gadgets are plenty. Unless I want to remove something first. Uh, so that costs me money. So I, I guess we'll just save the cash for the next shop. So with that, I guess we go to the swamp. Your journey continues. Here we go, the slithering swamp. Home to a monstrous snack. It also borders the bum pass and the screaming hills. Hardly prime real estate. Alright. Let's go, crewman. <laughs> <laughs> Starts with stealth, right? Right, okay. So this is the stealthy guy, and then we got these guys who are immune to weapons. Interesting. Um, well, may as well do this. That's just always oh, helpful. Oh. Uh, and then we have two gold. We have random potions in the deck, and then we have the sturdy trade. Uh, well, these guys are immune to weapons anyway, so let's just go ahead and Hit it. have a punching contest with one, I suppose. Ooh, okay. Blocking and inflicting poison. That's pretty annoying. Okay. Starting health. Such as when you discard a tile. Okay. I wonder if the poison carries through outside of this fight as well. Ouch. Okay. 
much. Right. Well, that really hurt. Um, we'll probably want to buy one of these chain mails to go ahead and restore some health. Oh, there's an elixir as well. Let's do that. Wait. I can discard it for one money and two health. Oh, I see, but it has two charges. If I restore health with it in combat. Uh, whatever. I'll just take the money and the instant heal. That's just totally fine. Oh, I can buy a bucket helm for more health as well. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's buy that for two more health. What's this? Health potion restore two health. Okay. Um, so I use that during combat, I guess? Let's buy it. New toy. Gain one, you acquired this. Your attacks with mail up with piercing, etc. Okay. Uh, let's just go and fight another slime guy for now. It. Uh, it's taking me for two, so I get to parry it here. Harry. That's fantastic. So we don't need this anymore, and we just two shot it. Alright. So that went a heck of a lot better. Ooh, there's our, uh, there's our Intimidate, so try to save up for that, maybe. Um, should be able to fight one more of these with our Chainmail. So that's easy. Let me just have these guys. Um... Oh, and are my lots still these things as well? I am, okay. Yeah, you know what? I don't care Away about the slash you. too much. Let's get rid of that and then buy our intimidate. What was this? Discard an item and gain five gold. Or three gold. Very interesting. Uh, I'm I'm gonna buy this intimidate though. Finders keepers. Gain three block this round of combat. Okay, so these potions seem pretty decent, uh, the ones we shuffled in. And of course, we can always just sell them for more cash as well, so that, I think that was a pretty decent choice. Uh, Alright, well, like, we haven't fought these guys yet, so let's... Hit it. Enemy has Blitz, they'll attack before you. That sucks, and they're gonna poison me as well. Okay. Um, well, I can... Well, there's no point doing the Bucket Helm, right, because they're just inflicting poison, they're actually attacking me. Just punch them. Okay, but the blitz only happens on turn one, I guess. So I can uh, let's restore, let's do my health restore as well. Does that happen right away? Oh, there we go. Sweet okay. relief. Dispatched with ease. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Um. So with that, that just adds an extra one attack, unfortunately. Oh, I can't. Am I out of space? Is three my limit? wonder why I can't um, purchase the sword here. Yeah, it seems three items is your limit. Okay, that's good to know. Um, okay, so we'll want to try and use these up. Strategize. Which is the bucket helm's... Uh, Pretty bad here against these guys. So that's a bummer, but. I can use up the rest of this potion while I kill them. Alright, then we'll like this one. Smash. Use up the rest of my potion and smash again. You made it look easy. That's just one more of these gloopy guys left. Um, seems I get extra stuff for not buying these tiles, so there's really not a lot of point to doing it. I should be able to survive this just fine. Splat it. Um, I'll use my helm. Why not? Uh, just punch him to death. Feeling good. So I did enjoy the Intimidate, it's pretty good.
Alright, we got plus 50 bonus. That's awesome. Next is the Goblin Capital. Uh, and he's quick, has blitz attacks. Four health, though. Okay. Buckethead. When the enemy is defeated, put a copy of Stupid in your inventory. The cost to acquire abilities is increased by one. Pay two health to remove this. Okay, that's pretty annoying. And then Goblord Wagyu. That was a boss. Okay, 18 health. All Gobloids have plus one in the dungeon. Shuffle Tranquilizer. Okay, okay. So things are getting a little more interesting. Uh, well, let's choose a tile. Will be revealed. We got a bow that gives a lot of attack. And pierces. Wait, range, deal four damage to the enemy in the top row. Not entirely sure what that means in the top row. Because when we're fighting an enemy, are we concerned about rows? Or are we ever going to fight multiple enemies at a time? Or does this let me target enemies prior to combat? Seems interesting. Miner's Hat, when you parry with this item, gain a gold. Interesting. Uh, and a spear, which is just for piercing attack. I mean, let's try the bow just so we can figure out how that mechanic works. And then let's see what this is. In the start of your dungeon, shuffle three blessings into your deck. Uh, car has a passive positive effect while on the board, okay. Once per battle after your opponent acts, freeze them if their action contained attack. Frozen enemies have zero attack, remove after the enemy forms any action. That seems quite good. For every two items you discard, restore one durability to a random item. No, not that doesn't sound great to me. Your base attack is increased by one against damaged enemies. That's pretty good. Um I'm going to try chill, I think. And then let's go ahead and do a bit now of shopping. Spend your winnings. What is this? Gauntlets. Whenever you acquire a weapon, restore one durability in this item. And it's a three block item. That's pretty good. Increase the dur durability of all armor and inventory to full and increase the block value by two. Wow. That seems powerful if you have the right setup. Sharpen increases... Um, Increase the attack of all male weapons on the board by two instant. Interesting. Seems good as well. It's pretty cheap. Acquire target weapon of cost two or less and an additional copy in your inventory. Okay. Remove all armor and block from target enemy. Add a durability to your plate armor. Not sure I understand how that one works. Uh, and then we have the plate helm, which when you equip it, you unequip weapons, which is odd. The sharpen seems really good. Um, let's buy that. Well bought. And then start removing some things. I wonder if the health vial's any good. I wonder if the bucket helm's any good. I think these slashes are not amazing. So they only work for one uh, attack. So let's trash one of those. Won't be needing that. And then add something cool instead. We have 65 still, so we can do quite a bit. When you acquire this, restore one. Oh, when you acquire a weapon, restore one to really this. Sure, let's give that a shot. The right tool for the job. And then let's try a reroll. See what we can find. Oh man, there's a lot going on. Pipe Sword is three attack. That's pretty good. Goat Axe, your attacks have Blitz. Interesting, but it's not very um, it's not very strong. But it, there were Blitz enemies in the next dungeon, so that's kind of interesting for that. Block value is reduced to zero if your opponent action has an attack of three or less. Okay, that's really interesting. Octo's armor. The enemy each round increases this weapon's attack by one, resets after battle. Wait, at the end of each round, increase the weapon's attack by one. And it's already a five to start with? Well, that seems insane. It's just really expensive, of course. Thorns. Presume deals some damage when they attack you. Yep. So I like the arm and I like the shield. <coughs> Let's maybe pick up the arm. I'll drop the other slash. Uh, 
Yep. Oh, they gave me money. That didn't cost money. That's even better. All right. Let's buy that one. And then do I maybe want to get rid of a short sword, which is really not that strong, for um, something like the pipe sword? That makes a lot of sense. A fine assortment of dangerous doodahs and what's it? Sure. Away with you. Let's try that. I never did trust magic. Oh, I see. The rerolls get more expensive as you go. So maybe blowing that first one uh, while well, there were still useful items on the board wasn't that good. But yeah, again, live and learn. Okay. Uh, well, let's see how that goes. Where to? All right. Off to the Gobloid capital of Wagyu. Here's the capital city of the Gobloids, in the name of their king, and their signature dish, and the most popular Gobloid baby name. All right, good to know. Learn right, some things about goblin culture here. So studious. All right. Um, oof, that's a lot of stuff to get through. Here we go. Okay, so these are the fish guys that give us stuff. Um, makes things more expensive. Like the treasure chest, of course. And these are the quick guys. Okay, that's fine as well. Um, let's buy the sword for now, and just to have toy. a weapon. And here. This exhaust. So I should grab this when I need a pierce, I guess. Your attack with the melee weapon has piercing and plus two attack as well. Okay. So I should buy this when I want to either pierce or one-shot something. Um, for the time being, let's see. Let's start with one of these guys, see how that goes. Holy moly, they hit for four damage? That's rude. Alright, um... And this doesn't quite get me a kill, either. Is their blitz permanent, I wonder? Um, well, let's go. It's frozen, yep. So we get to push him off here. <laughs> Okay, so that was pretty nasty. Uh, Dragon's Gold discard target item and gain five bucks. Interesting. Um, do you guys have eight health? So if I attack for three and then five, that would two shot them. Okay, so let's pick up the thrust here. All right, you gain a gold when you obtain this as well, which what is cool. Find. Um. I'm gonna pick up this vial as well, that just because be we can use that for cheap here. Hit, hit. Man, these guys are hitting hard. Okay, so I can attack for five and then three on the next turn to finish it off. Um, let's go ahead and restore two health. Oof. Double zero, man, okay. Um, yeah, might as well finish the vial off, and then attack for three. Awesome. Alright, passive. Okay, so I can spend two to get rid of this. I think it's at four, which is a little bit scary, but let's do it. Um, okay, there's a lot of items on the board, so I'm probably meant to uh, maybe sell some of them to buy something new. The bucket helm isn't particularly impressive. Let's get rid of the bucket helm. Ah, sweet relief. And then what's this thing? Tranquilizer in battle. Replace your opponent's current action with sleep. What? That seems good. Um. At six. Okay. I want to buy the intimidate because that's just been really, really good. And then. I want the chainmails around, um, since we restore health when we buy those, and they seem like they might be good against these blitz guys anyway. Um, let's get rid of one of these tranquilizers. Wait a second. Oh, is that why I couldn't? No, I just can't buy it. Wait. Oh, I just can't afford anything, that's why. Okay, I was like, why can't I buy anything? Alright, let's get rid of this tranquilizer, get some more health, and some more gold. There's another one. Increase the attack of all weapons on the board. It's not great yet, but it could be good eventually. Um, 
Let's just fight one of these guys, I guess. Uh, our Intimidate will at least kill it, even though we're taking a bunch of damage. Oh, right, it won't, because we no longer have higher health by the end of this. Interesting. Oh, there's the Goblin King. Okay. Well, we don't want to deal with him quite yet. Though he is making everything stronger, which is uh, maybe a reason to try and deal with him, but we don't just don't have the money right now. Uh, I'm going to buy myself some armor. I'll restore health as well, which is good. And then Pipe Sword we probably want for the king himself here. Um, man. Let's get rid of this. Ah, sweet relief. Okay, whenever you acquire a weapon, restore under ability to this. Um, our deck has nine more cards and four more enemies. I'm just wondering if I should try to deal with this guy early or later. And earlier sort of makes sense, I just have to end up selling a lot of things. He's just hitting so so hard. Um, I would like to apply or grab the Octo Arm here, and I deal with the Sharpen as well. But it's so much money that I just don't have right now. Um, but selling all this stuff restores health as well, so I really shouldn't be doing while I'm at full health. Let's uh, let's fight one of you. Um, I think I use a charge of that. And then I should one hit it with Intimidate, hopefully. That seems okay. Um, I'm gonna acquire weapon, restore one durability to this. Can I buy this? I can. And it restores health as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Lucky day. Your inventory is full. You can hold the most four. You can either replace the tally inventory or simply use up what you already have. Okay, great. That seems very doable. Um, let's fight another Goblinoid. Strategize. So I am allowed to equip multiple uh, armors at the same time. That's good to know. Uh, I might do this here. I don't mind using up the chainmail so I can pick up something else, and this will restore one durability when I pick up a new weapon anyway. Deflected. What is this? It restores health and it costs zero? Well, that seems great. Um, okay, let's think about this for another moment. Um, yeah, let's just pick this up. New toy. Okay, and that'll help us deal with some of these bucket heads, maybe. Um, yeah, I'll fight a bucket head. Uh, I'm not gonna actually use this, I'll just hit it really hard here. Take my licks, and the frozen of course being great. Feeling good. Alright, we'll get rid of this. And then I can use up all three charges, or at least some charges of this. Uh, maybe I pick up something else. What is this potion? Restore one health whenever you discard a tile, restore one to really this item. That's really interesting. You could potentially get a lot of value here. I uh, wish I'd had that earlier, maybe. For now, it's less good. Um, so I might actually look to even sell that one. Let's your health. use some of this up. Sell this one. And that gets us the bow. Pretty cool. So now I'll use Sharpen. Huzzah! Okay, that only works on melee weapons. So I, sh I thought that would affect the bow as well, but I misread that one. Um, okay, I do want to know how this works exactly. Aha! 
So let's see. Oh, and that restored the thing there. Okay. Okay, so I am allowed to just shoot stuff um, without even needing to engage it. So that's pretty cool. These are the last remaining enemies as well. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll finish one of these guys off. Or actually, uh, should I spread the love? Because I can help hit them for damage, right? With this. So I can actually just fight them straight up. And then just kill them. Oh man, I guess the bow's pretty good. Oh. Okay. It forces me to take the stupid here. That sucks. Um... So that's something to think about. Let's get rid of that. Let's shoot this guy. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Can I get out of here? I can't. Okay. All right. So now let's fight him. Now we're gonna lose some more health. That's fine. Um, which money do I have? Two. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna sell the tranquilizer. Sweet relief. Okay, we're starting to run out of money and stuff, so I need to actually, like, sort of strategize this out. This Intimidate actually isn't very good against the king, I guess. Um, let's see. This gives three armor. Yeah, I want the Octo Arm here. Let's just get rid of the Short Sword. Um, to your health. Up the arm, I think. Fortuitous. And maybe fight the Goblin King with it? Hit it! Oops, he's hitting hard. Alright. Well, let's do that. Well, I actually parried him as well. Alright. Uh, well. Cool. Huzzah! Got him! Alright, and then we'll just uh, fight this guy. Okay, so I got a lot harder with the boss in there. Be interesting. Uh, I got a lot less bonus because we have to use a lot of the tiles. Alright, what's coming up next? If they reach the bottom row, take two damage. Cool, that's an interesting little mechanic. Uh, you can't equip weapons until after this enemy attacks, and they have 12 health. Alright, that's annoying. Uh, basic skeletons again, and the ancient skeleton. Well armored and fashionable dude starts with two armor. Okay, that's not so bad. Mm, Let's see, treasure. we have here nine damage death blow katana, and so we can only be equipped immediately after you parry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm kind of into it. Uh, piercing thing again, and the plate helm again. Seems like the plate helm and the katana could be a good combination, but the katana seems sweet. Let's buy it. Hurry up now. And then let's Choose. see. Your first attack each battle has plus one. That's fine. Your base damage is increased by one against damage enemies, okay? And start of your dungeon, gain money. Your base attack is increased by one while you have four tiles in your inventory. I like being rich. Let's be rich. Let's see if we can't buy anything else to fill out our last slot if we want to. Type sword, sharpen, draft a random item for two. Choose between three tiles and acquire one. Oh, draft. Sorry. Choose between three tiles and acquire one for three. Interesting. Okay. When you parry with this, gain a gold. Once per battle, use this to remove all non-attack symbols from your opponent's actions. No, it doesn't seem that exciting. Um, yeah, let's... Sure, let's yes, buy the box. Weapons are so inelegant. It seems fine. So you're thinking about this, usually in... Uh, in these types of games, you're happy with, uh, like in card games, you sort of want a smaller deck so that you draw the stuff you want more readily. 
And that's sort of true here, um, in that, you know, if our deck was just a couple of cards, we would get them sort of more often, like, for instance, Intimidate. But also, the additional items can be sold off for benefits, and it means enemies don't show up quite as often, so... Um, I actually think you want a maxed out deck here. Alright, well, uh, I'll go with that for now. Let's see if we can deal with Pointy Peak here. Alright, the Harpies roost in yonder peaks, but they don't bother the Gondola too much, okay? As long as I remember to trap a sacrifice to it. I see, I see. Okay, let's see how we do against Harpies. Uh, they seem pretty scary. <laughs> if this enemy reaches the bottom row, take two damage. If they spawned on the bottom row, I guess it's okay. Alright, we got our basic skeletons. Um, we didn't start with our chest on the board this time, which sucks. The chest is really good. Uh, we got Thrust, which is free. And it gives me a gold. Okay, yeah, let's just grab that one right away. What a find! And then this gives three, and then restores when you buy a weapon. Let's see if we can't do something cool with the gauntlets. So they do also restore health when we buy them, so maybe I don't buy them immediately. I could probably just straight fight one of these skeletons. Will you triumph? That seems seems okay. Right, especially as they get the frozen as well. Okay, great. So Take that. that gives us money. As soon as armor, you only need to break down their armor before you can deal damage to their health or use piercing attacks. Okay, well we have our pierce here, that's good. Um, but for now, we'll buy the gauntlets, restore what health, and give us uh, a bit of um, defense as well. I wouldn't mind picking up a weapon before I fight one of these guys, so um, maybe I'll fight another basic skeleton for the time being. Crush them. And I'm going to restore the durability on this anyway, so I can do my days uh, here. <laughs> Unequip that. Punch a couple more times for the win here. <laughs> and then I'll buy the Pipe Sword, which will restore the durability to the gauntlets. Now I can start clearing some of these punks out, hopefully, uh, so they don't reach the bottom. Hit it! Enemy has piercing. Any block you have will be ignored. Oh, that sucks. I would have liked to uh, block them here, but it's okay. We'll just punch them with the pipe sword. And now that they're not doing any damage, we don't have to worry about using the sword anymore. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, Alright, definitely take the treasure chest. Ooh, there's our katana. That one could be pretty cool. Plus three. Uh, I want to use up the a charge on the gauntlet before I buy it, so maybe I um, do sharpen with it or something. Let's deal with this armored guy Hit while it. we have the peers going here. Um, just one shot it, I guess. So if I'm one shotting it, I don't actually need to use the gauntlet. Watch out for this one a little bit. Um, problem is they're piercing. <laughs> okay, let's just fight a regular hit skeleton hit. then. Uh, I can just kill it with a charge of the gauntlet here. A parry. Punch and punch again. Too easy. Alright, and I think what I might do now is pay for sharpen. Instant uh, gratification. And pay for the katana. I also need to take out these punks in some fashion. Let's see. This is a seven attack weapon at the moment. So that would just one-shot these punks. Uh, that's pretty good. 
I do want the katana as well. But let me buy this for now. Uh, and I can start dealing with these guys a little bit. Because that'll just one-shot them. And then once we save up for the katana, then I should hopefully be able to use the gauntlets plus the katana to maybe take out some of these wind runners. Uh, let's take out another one. Bam. Really a small fry. What's this? Gain regeneration. Restore two health when every tile is added to the board. Or remove this effect when health is full. Huh. That's powerful. Uh, I don't know if it's... It's definitely not something I want to buy right now, but it's an interesting effect. Um, right, let's fight another skeleton. Crush them. I can use my gauntlets for this. Hurry. Right, a bit stronger, but only for the battle. Nice. Now I can buy the katana, which will restore a charge on the gauntlets again. It has 11 attacks, so hopefully um, that'll allow me to fight these guys. Ooh. Okay, they die for four, and they blitz. Man, okay. That's rough. Um, so I might need to use up something and buy like the helmet so that I can uh, actually get parries off. Um... I will still use a charge here to take less damage, I think. This is going to be a scary fight no matter what. Uh, do I use up the last charge of the arm or the last charge of the sword? This will kill, although they're not hitting me at the moment. Mm. Yeah, I'll use the last charge of the arm just to kill this. Then yeah, the helm in combination with the gauntlet should help me fight through that stuff. And it'll restore a bit of health as well, which is nice. Um, so yeah, let's go fight another one. Uh, go ahead and full parry it here. And that'll let me uh, use the katana to go ahead and finish it off. Ouch! Alright, um, what next? I guess... I don't want this gauntlet to die, so I want to buy another weapon before that happens. Um, these guys have the piercing attack. I guess I could just fight a punk, probably. At 8, I should be safe-ish. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll hit it for five in the first attack. And the Frozen will not make it deal any damage on the following turn. So we'll just kill it over two turns. A basic short sword. Do I have a longbow? Has piercing as well, so I can fight that guy. Um, and it will restore durability here, which is nice. Um, let's get this potion. What a find! Ah, That's just sweet relief. kind of free, good value there. Um, this one is discard an item and gain. Five gold for okay. Oh, but that dropped this guy, which means I can't bow him anymore. Interesting. Uh, maybe this is a time to take a chance in the box. Sure. Let's, let's see how that goes for me. Okay. Goat axe, spiked club. After you attack with this weapon, take one piercing damage. That kind of sucks. Lord's helm. When you block with this item in combat, lose one gold. You must have at least one gold to equip this. Interesting. Doesn't have charges though. Oh. 
Well, these aren't amazing. I think I might just do the club that deals me one damage, because the four is a lot. Luck. Uh, let's see. Alright, I get the feeling this isn't going to be very good, uh, so maybe I get rid of it, though I should lose some health first. So... One of those coming. I can't remember how many yes, of the yes. Let me explain. of the other harpies are there. I, I do want to kind of save the katana for those, but um, I'll, I'll use one charge of the Come katana maybe on this them. guy. So yeah, that's probably fine. Sure. Hurry. Marvelous. Alright, get this guy out of the way, then we have just the punk again. Um, what can I do to you, punk? I could shoot you with a bow if I can get one more money. Um, yeah, alright, let's sell this. Buy a bow, which will... Oh, right, I have to replace something to do that. Hold on, then. I guess that's not what I want to do. Discard an item and gain five. That is this tricky, tricky business here. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of that. And then use the bow on her. And then I should be able to fight her with the club here. Take my one damage, it's fine. That also restores health, great. Um, let's just punch this guy with the club. Take that. Oh, that's it? Okay, well. Um, yeah, I'll just fight this guy straight up. Because I think I get extra money if I keep the bow around. Okay, that went reasonably well. Definitely a lot easier than the goblins were. Yeah, I got a bunch more cash there. What are we fighting next? Peasant. Just six attack, or six health. Okay, that doesn't seem so bad. Oh, are they... Oh, I see. I see these guys come in groups, maybe? No fighting. Can equip melee weapons while this enemy is on the board. That sucks. Okay. Royal Guard. Center prevents you from attacking enemies in the same row until defeated. Okay, so we're starting to get a lot more uh, effects that do stuff on the board. The Druid. When added to dungeons, enemy buffs a random enemy within the same column with three armor. Okay, so that's something I have to pay attention to when they're going to be coming in new. Treasure time. Let's see what we've got. Uh, so I got this regeneration thing, which is medium, I think. Styles removed from your inventory after use. What? Oh, that's just what we lost. No, sorry. I'm reading the wrong part here. Um... So, remove target item from dungeon and fully restore durability to all items in your inventory. That seems pretty cool to me. Or the spike shield, which is really expensive but really powerful. Mm. I have some really high power items already, so I kind of like this exhaust. Let's try that. Choose wisely. Whenever you attack with two weapons, your total attack is plus three. Okay, that's not typically what we're doing. Your base increased by two against bosses. That's pretty good. Whenever you acquire an ability or store one health, no. And your melee weapons just have one attack. I think Warmonger's pretty good. Welcome, welcome. Let's go shopping. And we have one more space here. Okay, dual wield, spear. What is this? Slam deal ten damage to an enemy exhaust. Okay, so that just really deals with somebody for two bucks. It's not so bad. Or salvage, butcher's cleaver, this weapon has plus two versus damaged. And the flask. Not in love with any of this. Maybe another salvage, though they're obviously kind of awkward early, maybe. Move target item. Yeah. Slam's interesting, though it costs a lot of money. 
Uh, I'll just buy a spear. It's, it's okay, right? And then let's reroll and see what happens. Ooh, the crossbow looks cool. I assume this works in a way like a bow and deal two damage to target enemy in the top or middle row. Okay. So there's more options and it's kind of spread out a little bit more. Intimidate again. When you block with this item, restore health equal to your attack. Okay, sure. Sharpen. Once for battle, when you attack with a weapon, also gain six block. Yeah, that's pretty good. Destroy a non boss that has been damaged. Exhaust. No. What do I want to get rid of? The Bucket Helm's pretty medium at this point. The chain mail's really not that good either. Um, let's get rid of the Bucket Helm. Won't be needing that. And... I kind of like the crossbow. Let's, let's try that one. The power. The flex's pretty good too. The battles don't last very long, so... Um, just gaining six block for free seems kind of insane, actually. Let's do that, I just to make room for it. Um, I'll get rid of one of the short swords, they're pretty crappy. Away with you. Buy this thing. My choice as well. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Where Let's to? go. Oh, we're taking a, taking a long trip around this map. Not entirely sure where we're going or why. We seem to be mostly walking in a circle, but hey. Alright. Imperial Training Grounds. The beating heart of the Imperium's elite army. Training includes swordplay, formation drills, and helmet plume design. Cool, cool. Right. Take a short break here, and uh, we'll return in a moment. Alright, onward to the training grounds we go. Let's see what's in Krumen's box ready. for us this time. So you can start paying attention to this because when the druids drop in, they're gonna buff something. Um, this guy, no fighting. Alright, oh, until we defeat this guy, we can't fight this guy. Cool. And we have a crossbow coming. Which can shoot stuff in the middle row or the top row. So we could shoot this town guard, actually. Uh, can't look at melee weapons while they're on the board, but we can shoot them and this pierces, so. Let's grab the treasure chest. <laughs> Dropping a spear, that's totally fine. Uh, grab myself a crossbow and use it to shoot the town guard. Alright. <laughs> the thing I said I was supposed to pay attention to, I didn't, so. Good to know. And we can't equip a weapon while they're on the board. Um, so that's gonna make things difficult. We have to beat this guy. So I have to beat this guy without using a weapon. Um, which is not gonna be easy, honestly. Once from battle, we attack with a weapon, so I can't even use a deflect. So best I've got is these gauntlets. Um, and the druid ones are here, I think that's it. Yeah, I would love to use the spear against the town guard, but of course I cannot, so... Uh, I'm gonna buy the gauntlets. Well, let's think about that. Because those also restore health when I buy them, so I could, like, fight a peasant first. A hard to attack. Arms. One piercing? Yeah, I don't care, that's fine. Uh, so we'll just... Punch our way through the peasant, I guess? Yeah, this is fine. Gonna be frozen. Yes, this is a pretty easy fight. Even with no weapons. Yes! Okay, lockbox is the next. Um, so I can fight one more, lose one more health, and grab the gauntlets. It seems fine. Alright. There we go. Too easy. It's good money at least. Uh, let's buy the gauntlets. Restore our health to full. And uh, let's see, next is this. Oh, that's pretty good as well, actually. 
for, though. Um, I'll buy the health vial just in case, and then try to fight this guy. Five? Holy moly, alright. Okay, well. Uh, let's try not to die, I guess. That must hurt! Punching for two, unfortunately. Stand down. Disarm. Can't equip weapons for one turn. Yeah, I'm We don't care about that. Plus, we get to parry here. That's really good. Deflected. Man, they're hitting hard. All right. That must hurt. All right, they're at least down yes. now. Next one's coming in is another town guard, which I will be able to kill the crossbows, that's okay. Um do need to restore some health. Which I have a couple of potions, I guess. So. Invigorating. Let's just use those up. Um I can still buy a weapon, so I think I will just to restore charge on the gauntlets, maybe. Yeah, that seems fine. Alright, then let's shoot you. Take that. And then shoot the next one as well. Okay, and that gives us more cash, which is nice. Um, and let's see, the druid does what again? When they're at it, they add a random enemy. The same column with three armor. Okay, so if I put them on one of these two columns, we'll be fine. Um, so I'll pick up the health potion. I know I wanted to sell something, not pick up something. Well, I'll still pick up the health potion. Uh, you guys sell the chainmail? Yeah, let's sell the chainmail. Ah, sweet that seems okay. Alright, that's a good one. Um, pick up the intimidate. What a find! And try to finally go and. Finish two this one arms. off. Okay, tagging for two is fine. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll stun them as well. Masterful. I guess there wasn't any point because they're frozen. Something to think about, I guess. Okay. I mean, it prevented damage, but I could have maybe used this later in the fight or something. A mere trifle. Okay. So now I'm finally allowed to equip weapons, which is great news. Um, I just need to uh, find said weapons to equip. Or rather, be able to afford it, I guess. I'd like to buy this deflect as well. Uh, I do have the spear. I guess the piercing is nice for other enemies, but it's fine here too. Let's see, we have a druid coming in on this flank. That's fine as well. Let's pick this up. What a find! And health. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll fight one of them. What is this thing? I have no idea, but that's okay. I'll fight one of the druids just to see what they're all about. Um. Time for two. Oh, sure. Let's just hit them really hard. They're not too scary, they just attack for two every turn. What's this? Reduce the cost of target ability by one. Okay. Neat. Uh, next is chainmail coming in. Don't care about that. Um, let's fight this as well, and I'll use the rest of my spear here, I think. Piercing might have been useful against other enemies potentially, but that's fine. That freeze ability that we picked up seems really insane. Okay, this is the town guards. They won't let me equip weapons. Uh, well, we don't have any weapons to equip at the moment anyway. What's the cost of an ability by one? Okay. Um, 
this ability. No idea. Um, all right, let's pick up the katana. Your lucky day. That'll rest restore charge here, which is helpful. Um, something else coming up again. All right, let's fight you. With ease. This is generation restore two when a tile is added to the board. It's so expensive though, okay. Um oh man, this is tricky. Wait, I still can't equip this? Oh, it's just because of the parry thing, right? right. Okay. Um Yeah, let's fight the druid. I'll do the parry katana combo here. Well parried! Inspiring. Okay, now the board's all items, so I get to basically just chunk through those here. Um, what do I want to sell? I'll sell this thing. To your help. Okay, here's another town guard. Uh, the bow can kill the town guard. So I need to make room for the bow. Let's just use up my health potion, I guess. To your help. Pick up the bow. Use the bow. Yes. And now we have the royal guard, which I can also kill with the bow. That seems okay. Seems like a solid use of the bow. Uh, sharpen to make these items stronger. Maybe. I think I'm gonna buy this. This is kind of insane. That will be needed. So it's not really a combo with the katana, huh? Um. Oh, thrust would be good here as well. But I need a weapon for it, also. Okay, okay. This is this is getting a little tricky. guys hit so hard. Oh, let's do this. Oh, no! Should be able to kill him here still. Too easy. Okay. We can fight the druid as well. Splat it. Pretty straightforward. Oh, I was gonna use up the rest of this gauntlet. Hold on. The only way to buy something. Okay, I'm starting to start to see the issue with our inventory size here. I guess I'll use it the gauntlet, Crush even though them. it's not great. Deflected. Magical. So really, I need a weapon other than the katana, so I can use it with the flag, and then use the katana afterwards. Though the katana is about to get used up anyway. Um, let's see what we can find in the box, maybe. What a find! Okay, don't care about that. What is this thing again? Block. The block value of this item is reduced to zero if your opponent has an attack of three or less. The old spiked club, or we can get the gauntlet back. Um. I'm gonna actually pick this up because we have the Royal Guard again, so this will full block them, which is awesome. Uh, and we just punch them a couple times here. Type Sword's good. The peasants don't hit very hard, so the Lion. Uh, guard isn't going to do anything against them. But that said, we're also at full health, so I just don't really care. Uh, let's just 
some stuff and kill them. Okay. Oh, that was it. Alright. Your quest continues. Okay, so far everything that didn't have a boss was easy. Here's another boss coming up. This looks interesting. We got skeletons again, armored skeletons again, seen those guys. Cultists. Uh, they don't do anything, alright. Zeal nuts. This enemy doesn't have any... Okay, so lots of non-special enemies. What do you do? In this dungeon, whenever you discard a tile, destroy the top card of the deck. Ghost King is immune to this effect. Spooky. Interesting. So I should be able to eliminate lots of enemies by discarding things if I line it up right. Okay. Let's see what we can find here. Cleave. Deal 5 damage to all enemies in the bottom row. Exhaust. Could be good. Wishing Lamp. Choose. Gain 1. Restore 3. Or restore 1 durability to a random item. I mean, it seems pretty good. Worst case scenario, you pay one to get three gold back. It's really pretty decent. Uh, and lowers how many block, you lose one gold, and you must also have one to equip it. I think I'm gonna go for the lamp here. That seems solid to me. Choose yeah, wisely. Start of dungeon, shuffle three flexes, instant, increase your attack by one for the remainder of the dungeon. That's quite good. Whenever you flee from battle, gain two block. Okay. Overwhelmed. This effect triggers if there are six or more enemies on the board. Eh. Your base tag is increased by one minus one while you have a weapon equipped. I see. So this is just for your... some kind of punch build. Uh, I like this flex thing. It seems just solid. Prepare for the road ahead. Alright, what do we got? Tranquilizer, Mighty Swing. Increases by amical... Wait, what? Increase your attack by an amount equal to the damage of your equipped melee weapons recharges after six rounds of combat. Huh. It's powerful. I don't know that we need more effect type things. Two and two versus damage. Three rolls 15. Spike Club has been decent. Um. Leaves also kind of interesting, but I'm gonna do a reroll here and see if I can find something cooler. Okay, I've been really liking the bows, so I might invest in some of those. Iron skin in battle, pay three to gain four for one round. That doesn't seem great. Once for battle, remove all not. Okay, I always saw that before. Liquid armor is pretty cool. Deal your base damage, target enemy in the bottom row, gain one. Exhaust, okay. Um, how much do I have? 75. This is 30. 55. And, okay. I might buy the liquid armor and then the two bows. Gizmos and gadgets what am I removing to do that? The chainmails aren't that good. We've been doing a pretty good job keeping the Battle Worn Gauntlets alive, but of course we might not get it early is the problem. Um, Frost has been okay. It at least gets me a gold when I acquire it, I guess. That's not too bad. Um, the basic health vials, fine, but not amazing. Sharpen has also been, like, not that good. Um, Get rid of one chainmail. Won't be needing that. Uh, buy the two bows. Quite the bargain. And do I want this liquid armor? Used to gain three this round. So like this is effectively just sort of like the gauntlets, right? Yeah, I should buy it. I think. What a collection. Um. Yeah, I'll get rid of Sharpen, I think. Away with you! And try this out. A prudent purchase. Alright. Let's see how this goes. He has 45 health, that is a lot. Onwards. Alright. Ghost King Scriptorium. Me and the Ghost King, that ethereal know-it-all, 
Yeah, we go way back, and I've always had the better beard. Bone Lord Calacus. Hopefully we'll meet him at some point and check out his amazing beard. Alright. I've seen this before. Okay, so we already know that's gonna happen. So whenever there's an enemy on top, we should be looking at the discard, probably. Okay, for the time being, um, we've got some options here. These guys have 14 health. That's a lot. Um, oh, the lamp plus the bow is sort of interesting as well. Could really get some value there. What do you do? Will you triumph? Four and minus two. Okay. Um. I guess I can check all these guys out Will before you I... triumph? Wow, they hit for eight damage? Jeez. All right, these guys I need to eliminate. Uh, they're terrifying. 14 health, too. All right. Uh, let's get a little bit creative uh -huh. here. Oh, there's the king. Interesting. Um, I'm going to buy myself... and get one gold. I'm gonna buy the longbow. Oh, ghastly! The ghost king. Okay. Um. Then let's shoot the king. I think for just millions here. It seems pretty good. I'd like to discard something to maybe kill this guy, though he's not as scary as some of these other cultists, so maybe it's okay for him to be on the board. Um, let's just fight a skeleton. It. Should be fine. Okay, so there goes that. Okay, crossbow is definitely decent. What is this guy do again? X for three. Okay. If we get the crossbow as well, then we could shoot him with the bow and the crossbow and kill him. Doesn't seem too bad. Correct them. Alright. Too easy. There's that. And there's another one coming. Um Buy this. Well, hold on. Might get rid of the katana here. It's gonna be hard to parry. These guys hit really hard. So let's do that. Let's discard this. That clears out the top. Okay, excellent. There's another one coming, so now I can clear out another uh, thing. I'll get rid of the health vial. The regular skeleton's totally fine. Then we have a sword coming. Let's buy the crossbow. Your lucky day. I don't quite recall what this is. Guess we'll find out. Um, let's shoot this guy a couple times. Flex. Oh, the flex is here. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I did not realize the flex cost five gold. Um, that makes it a lot less good, but all right. Okay. I'm gonna want to get rid of something to clear this guy out. They're pretty mean, so I guess I'll get rid of this. Won't be needing that. Okay, great. So now I can afford to do deflect plus pipe sword, uh, which let me start clearing some of these guys. Your lucky day. These ones aren't so bad. I might let him be. Fortuitous. All right, let's. 
try to fight you. Crush them. Yeah, oh, that still isn't full block even, but. Ooh, that'll leave a mark. How oh, nice he's gonna hurt himself without doing anything to me. You made it look easy. Okay, we got a scrap thing, that's fine. Uh, let's buy the a liquid armor. Toy. So what is this? Remove an item and fully restore their ability to everything in my inventory. Okay, so I think I might... Oh, but I wanted... Okay. Um, so I keep this guy in the middle so I can use more crossbow charges on him and do salvage at some point here. So... Let's maybe fight this guy. Um, we'll go punch, deflect... I'll kill him, actually. really strong. Um, then we'll go crossbow you, salvage, getting rid of dragon's gold, probably. Yeah. Oh, wait, I have to pick that up first. Okay, okay, okay. forced to pick this up makes things a little bit awkward. So maybe I give up on the additional crossbow damage. Yeah. So to go crossbow there, then I'll pick this up. <laughs> Don't care if a skeleton makes it, that's fine. Uh, do this just to restore the pipe thing. And then we'll go fight the Ghost King. Uh, hopefully should be good with this stuff. Mostly full health, not quite full health. I don't have any gold. I could fight a skeleton first and then buy another liquid armor or something. Though I'll lose health doing that as well. Okay, here, here. Hit it. I think I have a plan here. Um, we'll just punch the skeleton to death. Easy. And then, oh, that would be nice too. Um, then I can sell something and buy a chainmail, which will give me another piece of armor and more health as well. So that's pretty good. Um, this doesn't seem like it's going to be great here, because all the hard enemies have a lot of health anyway. So I'll sell this. Good and then buy a chainmail to restore additional health. And... Fortuitous. Have a chainmail, um, and then yeah, let's fight Two the ghost king. Three and gain one. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I'll go. So well, yeah, I can use one charge of the sword here, and then do that for a full block. Harry. Type sword attack. Oh, he's still frozen? Okay. Just a regular attack here. Okay, he's doing another three and one. Uh, let's parry with this again. Continue my basic punching. Okay, here comes a six, so I'll unflick that one. And I guess I'll chain mail. Sure. Alright. Took a bunch of damage, but we got him. Don't know if that was actually good, because now I'm low on resources and there's still a bunch of stuff to fight, but is what it is. Um, I'll have to sell some stuff to eliminate that enemy. Uh, the arm's really good, but really expensive. Let's sell the sword, I think. 
Sweet relief. Okay, the crossbow is nice, sort of. I mean, I can use a full crossbow just to kill this guy. Is that even worth it? Crush them. He does hit kind of hard. And I'll refund me one. Yeah, I think it's fine. What a find! Um. Let's see what else do I sell here? Um. Oh, the spirits are five? Okay. Well, so I can just use the spear to kill that guy. Um. Well, I'm better about the stupid crossbow. Okay, in that case, I'll actually sell the spear. Get rid of that guy. Okay, there's another one of those. Just cost an ability by one. I mean, I might as well pick that up. Fortuitous. I can use this a number of times as well, so I can... Can I use that on flex? I wonder. I can. Okay. Um, I have one gold at the moment. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I would like to actually buy this flex. Let's use my full crossbow on him. Um, I don't mind a skeleton dropping in, so I'll just buy the flex here. Your power grows! Okay, I do want to get rid of that guy, 100%. Um, okay, the arm's really good, but it's going to be hard to afford it at this point, so let's just sell the arm. To your help. There's a bow, that's kind of interesting. I have one gold. Um, let's just fight a skeleton. Will you triumph? <laughs> I fight these guys quite a bit before it gets scary. Okay. Get the treasure chest. Oh, that's the last thing. Okay, so we don't need to worry about the treasure chest, probably. Um, let's fight one more skeleton. Hit it! Definitely sell this flex. Away with you. Just for the health mostly. Um, do I see what's in the box? Do I... Yeah, I kinda need a weapon for this deflect to work, so let's do this. Aha! I hope we'll find something. Alright, the club should work well enough. Oh yes. Even though it's not perfect. Um, hit, hit again. Hit for eight. Eight's a lot. It would kill me. Though, if I were to do this, then it wouldn't quite. But I can also just buy the gauntlet, uh, which will restore health and let me do a full parry here. The last guy off. I oh, even need to do the gauntlet there. Fantastic. Alright, so that was a little bit tough. Once again, a boss proving uh, quite a drain on our resources. We got the screaming this hills coming up next. More harpies. What's this guy? The nuke viking. Can't equip armor against this enemy? Okay, that's annoying. Buckethead was pretty annoying as well, and the Blitz guy. Alright. Mm, treasure. That's what we can get. Charge, deals damage target enemy in the bottom row, and gain a gold. Another katana and a butcher's cleaver. If I pick up the charge here, it just does some damage and gains gold for free. Like can't possibly be bad, right? Choose wisely. Are you acquiring a ability that costs gold? So one gold from the bottom row, get an extra copy. Weird. Your base attack is increased. No, your first attack has plus one. Your attack is increased against stunned opponents. Hmm. I mean, that doesn't seem as good as sneaky, but it's interesting. Um. Are we requiring ability that costs one, gain extra copy? I think I'll just 
go with sneaky. That seems like a pretty solid generic choice here. Check out the goods. Deal 10 damage to an enemy exhaust. A lot of posts to that one. Increase max HP by 4 if this reaches the bottom row. Bonus gains plus 2 for the rest. Wait, what? Increase max HP by 4 if this reaches the bottom row. Health bonus gains plus 2 for the rest of the dungeon. Shuffle back into deck. Huh. Okay. Deflect. Has been good. I need more weapons that go well with Deflect. Um, might buy another Pipe Sword. The Lion Guard's pretty good against certain enemies, but pretty bad against others. I think I'll just buy another Pipe Sword. Um, it's been really good. Grows. And at this point, I might cut the Katana. Yeah, we haven't really been doing that, and we want to be able to use Deflect. Um, so let's cut the Katana. Even though it is good. good uh, and pick up maybe this boast thing? Don't totally understand how this works, Quite but it's fine. Bargain. And then maybe a second deflect isn't bad. A fine assortment of dangerous doodahs and what's it? Yeah, I'll get rid of this thing. It's not been that strong. Won't be needing that. Uh, for another deflect. A prudent purchase. So onward to the Screaming Hills, I suppose. Onwards. Definitely enjoying this game so far. Let's see if it has legs for a longer series. But... Place so crazy, even the hills themselves are screaming. Oh, I love that, end of, uh, that, that drawing there. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Alright. Oof, that's a lot of extra stuff getting shuffled in. What do we got? This guy is the one we can't use armor against, okay. This is the one where you can't equip. It has blitz and does four damage. It's pretty gross. This is the one where if it reaches the bottom we take damage. Alright, we have two gold right now. Oh boy. Um what's your deal? You also blitz, man. It's all the blitzing. I love it. Our attack went up? Oh, wait, is flex permanent? Oh, that's insane. Hold on a second. Okay, flex is permanent. That's, uh, that's a little different. Anyway, so everything blitzes, or... No, you don't blitz. You attack for three with piercing. Okay. I can probably do a... What oh. luck. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but I think it's fine. I can kill this with the spear for free here. What's <laughs> so this? Potion of Transmogrification. Transform target item into a random item and reduce the cost of that item by two. Oh, so I can item on the board. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what's this guy's deal? Back for three. I would like to buy these gauntlets, but they're expensive right now. Uh, yeah, let's just kill the bucket head. Got him. Of course, I'll have to get rid of this thing. But then I'll probably end up selling something on the board anyway. Potion's kind of cool. Um, but it's really expensive as well, but then it makes stuff cost less. It's fascinating. Uh, maybe I get rid of salvage. Away with you! Buy myself a gauntlet. Or the potion and start transmogrifying hard. Now oh, let's buy the gauntlet first. That also gives me health back. Hold on. Um, okay, well, I can't use armor against him anyway. Let's just punch him three times. Uh, 
Oh, okay, okay. It's just my first attack attack starter. Oh my god, he's hitting for six. What? Okay. Uh, well, I can run away, I guess. Oh, I died. Disappointing. Well, that was sudden. Uh, good to know. Start each run from the first dungeon, but you'll keep like, speed. I can use to unlock new tiles. Okay, cool. Ding! Okay, so I uh, made a mistake there. Thought I'd have the three attack permanently and just confusing uh, things. Holy moly, it's cost 16. Yes, yes, let me explain. When you acquire this, gain one for each enemy in the same row. That's kind of cool. Flex, of course. Okay, well, um, lost our first run there, but uh, again, this this was fun. Uh, I'll definitely be coming back this game, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well, and you'll join me for future runs where we hopefully uh, finish up a run and see, see what awaits us at the end. For now, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a future episode.